Exactly. So when did the problem start between you and your husband? It started um, six months ago when I first met him. Okay. Everything was so perfectly fine, you know. He was so romantic to me, so just so loving, you know. He had that that smile, you know, and yeah, you know, he had the, the bedroom eyes. I fell for that too. Yeah, you know, that was he was just something about him. Just yeah, so it felt amazing. good. So uh -huh. you've been together for how long now? I said about five years. But you got together, and then within like six months, y'all yeah. got married? Yes, six, six months. months. Wow, okay, so y'all yes. knew it was love. Oh, quickly. yeah, it's love mm -hmm. at first sight. So my producer told me that he accused you of cheating with a coworker. Oh, yes. It was just a, a friendly conversation. And I admit I was being flirtatious, but it was just, you know, smart. you know, it was nothing bad. It, he accused me of uh, uh, just like sleeping with him. And How does that make you feel with him? It accusing? just made me feel worthless as a person. What made you decide to separate? He brought a woman into our house. She was a prostitute. She, she was a prostitute? Yes, a prostitute. Is like, is that a confer like she actually was a sex worker or you just assume? Uh, she um, would go online and, and find men and just bring, and call them and bring them into our home. And when did you get back together? A month after. Why did you get back together? You know, I want to make my marriage work. I just want to make my marriage work. Yeah. You know, I don't like failed marriages at all. You don't like failed marriages? Mm -hmm. Have you ever been married before? No, this is my first marriage. And you wanted to be your last? Yes, I wanted to be my last. Mm -hmm. Okay. How did you find out that he had a, another girl pregnant? Well, he just came out and told me. Got it. I, I and y'all weren't separated this time? Oh, we were separated. Well, you were separated? Oh, yes. How long were yes. you separated? For uh, Probably for like two, three months. So yes. in two, three months, he got... He did, yeah. Another woman oh, pregnant. Oh, sure did. You're you're not sure if you believe that. I don't though. I don't believe that at all. I don't know if it's just rumors. So why don't you believe it? I just don't. I just don't. What I, does he say? He tells me that he got her pregnant, but okay. I don't believe it. There's no okay. proof. Did you two want children together? No. You don't, I don't. want any. Mm -mm, I don't want any. I understand. No. And why don't you have a job right now, my producer? He won't me. let me have no job. Okay. No job. Can't have no friends. Nothing. No phone. No phone. No phone. Why won't you be able to have a phone? Because he thinks I'm, uh, that I'm going to cheat on my phone. Got it. Yes. Yes. I deleted all my social media, everything. I have. So is he allowed to have a phone? He has. He has a phone. He has okay. social media. He has everything on his phone. Have you ever confronted him about your feelings? I try doing that. And what did he say? <sighs> he breaks me down. I get yelled at. Uh-huh. Get talked to any type of way. <laughs> he tells me I'm worthless. I'm nothing. How often does he do that? Every day. Every day. Okay. Yeah. And you wanted me to unlock his phone. Yes. What are you hoping that I'll find in the phone? I'm just hoping, I'm praying that he's not cheating on me. Because mm -hmm. like... if you find out he's cheating on you, are you going to stay? Mm -mm. Yeah. No. Because I don't deserve this at all. I do not deserve this. I am a woman. At the end of the day, I'm a woman. You don't deserve this. I don't. I don't yeah. deserve none of this. Yeah. Here you go, love. Thank you. You're welcome. All right, well, listen, everyone. I want to meet your husband. Um, so, everyone, please help me welcome Christina's husband, Mike, to the show. Lies. You don't know his side. Whatever. Whatever. Lies. Man, you whatever. All right. So, you heard what happened here. So, how do you feel about what you just heard? Oh, I was never, I'm not controlling at all. I just control he the lying. relationship. He is controlling. So you said you're not controlling, but you just control the relationship. Yeah. Okay. Since you said you don't control her, what do you do to control the relationship? Well, control the relationship, I do things like uh, keep the phone away from her. You know, uh, I might check emails. Hold on. This is something else I want to say. He came up to my job, and he broke somebody's window. You broke somebody's window yes, at the job? Yes, he did. He came up. That's true. Okay. Why did you break their window? Because I didn't know if that was the guy car she was hanging out with or what was the case. It so was a woman, not a out man. Out of angry. Out of anger, I just, I, I took a break and shattered the first So window. do you think this behavior is okay? Uh, kind of, I feel like, it's, as a man, point of view, I'm a man of the house, it's my rules, I think I should, you know. It's not okay. When did this controlling behavior of the relationship start? Um, immediately, within the first two months of the relationship, I made her delete her Instagram because I was seeing notifications. I say, well, actually, how you have social media and we in a, we in a, we in a relationship, um, that's not allowed. You're 34 years old, right? So you're young and you know that social media is a part of our culture now. So for you to say she has to delete it, I don't understand but why. But it's unfair. Are you allowed to have social media? 
I, I deleted mine, but then I, I started by getting on social media. Tell me from your perspective, how did you meet your wife and what was it like? Okay, when I first met her, I fell in love right away. So um, I ended up spending the night with her, I believe. The second day she goes to work and calls me like, I'm really in love with you. I think I'm ready to settle down. I want to marry you, actually like propose to me. So I immediately says, yes, I'm feeling the same way. Um, well, let's, let's do this. So. And then it was six months from that point y'all got married. You know, it took like three months. We got married right away. Three months it yeah. took married. So you got married within three months. Yes. Yes. And on the second yes. day you said, yes. I'm ready for it. And you agreed to it. We agreed. Okay. Do you feel like you rushed into this? We, we rushed, but I think it was like, I didn't want to wait and she didn't want to wait. Okay. Um, have you two talked about having your own children? Um, no, cause she, she couldn't have kids. She told me that. that oh, okay. She couldn't, have kids. Yeah. couldn't have children. So you couldn't have children. So you knew that she couldn't have children. Um, is wanting a family something you wanted? Um, actually, I wanted to start a family. Mm -hmm. At my age, I didn't want to get too old. Well, I'm like, no kids, so I just wanted something at that. I met her at 29. Got it. Um, and so you, you know that she can't have kids, but you want a kid, so why rush into a marriage with a woman who says she can't have kids? Yeah. You have kids. Right. So you're accusing her of cheating, but you won't let her have a phone. So we couldn't unlock her phone to find out if she was or not. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. The interesting part is that my producers gave her a phone so that she could contact us just while y'all were here so we could get in contact about mm. the story and bring you in to talk to you all. And you flipped out about that. Why did you flip out yes. about that? Uh, no, yes. I was a little surprised about having a, a phone. I said, uh, it's a cell phone. Where did you get it? Yeah. She said, uh, the producers gave me the phone just to keep in contact. Kind of went he, left. And then he got mad at me because he thought I had the Wi-Fi on and it was never on. So you can't even have the Wi-Fi on? Yeah, I seen like Wi-Fi yes. signals on the phone. I didn't know whether she was on social media or what was the case. Mm. Okay. All right. Well, listen, the thing is that you have a lot of questions, um, Christina, yes. about what's going on with him, and you wanted me to unlock his phone. Yes, I All do. All right. You wanted to know if he was still in communication with women yes. um, that he was with while you were separated. Yes. Oh, and then there's another, that he got another woman pregnant. Oh, got it. Yes. Okay. All right, well, listen, um, we have the unlock the phone results right here. This is what was in your phone. So it's time, it's time to unlock the phone. All right, so, Christina, we went through um, text, phone, apps on Mike's phone. Christina, you want to know if Mike was still communicating with the woman he was with while you were separated. My Unlock the Phone investigator searched his text, and he is telling the truth. All right, my Unlock the Phone investigator then checked his phone because Mike told you that he deleted her information and was not in contact with her anymore. Mike is telling the truth. He has deleted her contact information. But then my Unlock the Phone investigator searched his apps, and we found two very interesting items. Wow. Let me see. On September 13th, he messaged and FaceTime called with someone on a dating app Ugh. who he asked to meet up with. Ooh, let me see. Then there was evidence. So this is the big one for me, because when you ask about if he's in communication with her, yes, he said he's not texting. Yes, he deleted the thing. But then I asked my producers to ask you specifically, is there any way we could get in touch with her? Mm. And you said, yeah, I can get in touch with her. And then you okay. went through your cash app to contact her, oh. which then we then saw that you were still able to contact her through Cash App. Wow. wow. Because if you were not communicating with wow. her at all, you would really? not have been able to. Really? That was the only communication. Whatever. That's... But the point is not that it's the only communication. You said that you were not having any communication, and mm. we were able to see. Christina, what do, you, what do you think about all of this, and what do you want to say? What I want to say, this is, this is a dirty. I, I knew it. My intuition was right. You was, you've been talking to her. I asked you many a time, have you been talking to her? You said you deleted her number. She blocked me. I don't care. Blocking, it don't matter. You still talking to the girl. So basically, you still have communication with her. Since we've been back together, really? Don't. Well, hold on. My producers are telling don't. me right now don't. that, Mike, you had a confession that you also wanted to share. Oh, oh really? What is it? Christina, I got a confession to make about the girl I got pregnant. I actually got her pregnant on purpose. The reason why I got her pregnant is because you can't have kids. You got your tubes tied, and I wanted to start a family, so I figured that would be the best option for me. You couldn't give me one, so I had to find someone else. 
And I'm hoping that the three of us have come together and learn to co-parent together. I'm gonna tell you something, man. I'm gonna come out a little bit out of character right now. You low down and dirty. You low down and dirty. Not only, not only do you sit here, uh, hold on, because I gotta get this out. Not only do you sit here and control this woman by taking away her phone, by manipulating her, by taking a woman who's in a vulnerable state and then using information about the fact that she can't have children or she's had her tube ties and then telling her that you've intentionally went and found another woman, that is low down beneath the earth's dirty behavior. And I don't know what insecurities you have that has made you feel like you need to treat a woman like this, but you don't deserve even the dirt on the bottom of her shoes. And then you say, and then, and then, and let me make sure I just heard that correctly. Then you said to her, you wish that the three of y'all can raise this child together? You want to, come on now, I'm not even smiling with you, brother, because you, you trifling. You are trifling all the way through. For you to be able to sit here, what is going on? You have a woman. Listen, I'm, I'm glad you came back out here. This man is controlling you, you know it. it you have been emotionally abused. You have been manipulated. And, and I'm gonna tell you right now, and again, I'm sorry I gotta get out of character right now, but you know, when it comes to women who have been emotionally abused from me or physically abused, it gets under my skin. Yeah. You are trifling and down Why? right dirty. You love me for real, man? <laughs> if this was another context and I know that I'm not related to her, me and you would have a such a situation. Yeah. This, is, and this is true. <laughs> I, I'm gonna let you say what you need to say. I'm gonna let you say what you need to say, but. <laughs> Five years, I deal with so much from you. Mm -hmm. Emotionally, everything. Tell us I am hurting, this hurts me. I don't deserve this, I deserve better than this. <laughs> How in the world are you gonna do that to me because I can't have children? I just can't, I just can't. Are you in a position right now for you to leave him? Mm -mm. And I ask that question because I know sometimes we're in a situation where you had a man controlling you, manipulating you. Can I buy you a phone? Can, what can I do to support you so that you can get out of this? I need to get out of this because if I don't, I'm hurting myself. At yes. the end of the day, I'm hurting myself. I know. I get it. That's why I'm asking you what resources. You can leave now. You trifling. You can leave. I don't need you on my stage. So what can I do to support you? What, what, what do you need? I, I do need a phone. You need a phone? Yes. Okay, I'm gonna buy you a phone. I'm gonna make sure we, I buy you a phone right now. So we're gonna give you some money so I can buy you a phone. What, um, are, are, you, are you living together? Are you living together? Yes. Do you have the resources to be able to find a deposit to get out? You got the resources to get a deposit? I don't, I don't I'm gonna deposit. give you the resources to get a deposit so you can get some deposit. <laughs> And what I'm trying to do here is I'm trying to make sure. Come here, let me give you a hug, baby. Come here, come here give me a hug. Come here, come here, come here. Come here, come here. I'm, I'm, I want to give you the resources so you can get what you need. You hear me? I want to give you the resources. Because I understand he. he oh, I don't he, deserve this. I don't deserve, you don't deserve this. It. You don't deserve it. I'm you know a good it. woman. I know. I got I'm you. I'm a good woman. I try you. my best as a wife. I'm with you. I'm with you. I'm with you. If the sad part is, and this is what happens, sometimes we give our hearts to the wrong man. Yes. And unfortunately, you gave, your, you, you, you gave your heart to a child. You gave your heart to a child who decided to use it like it was a yes. damn toy. But now, you're talking to a man who's going to help you and support you, all right? I'm not a little boy. I got you, sister. I got you. 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 You do deserve better. You do deserve better. All right, thank you for being with us, friends. Make sure to come back next time so we can keep talking and we can keep growing. I love you all. Want more Unlocked Phones, DNA Reveals, and Family Drama? Then make sure you're subscribed to The Karamo Show YouTube.